Hey guys, it's Chronic Cobra here today, and I have a little bit of a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay here, and today, um, I'm rocking a Marathon Cold-Blooded and Ninja Pro class with P90, with silencer, and grenades and stuns. And the reason we haven't, like, had very many, like, COD gameplays up is, um, but we haven't really been like rolling out the gameplays lately anymore cuz it's not as easy to get cuz I don't have Black Ops anymore and it's become really hard to like record at the same time as playing and finally find a, I finally found a setup that could work and what's it called so we'll be getting more COD gameplay to you um last the Mortal Kombat video that I posted re like just before this one will be like worse quality than this because I actually installed Pinnacle Studio to record with my Dazzle. It's okay quality, but you know. So yeah, might sound a little tired. We, Me and Dr. Trigger, we went on an adventure today, you could say. And we went to Carabomizer's house. If you know what Carabim Carabomizer is, but yeah. If we heard that, it means you know, I'm sipping um, some Sunny D. You gotta have your vitamin C, you know what I'm saying? So initially, me and Dr. Trigo were supposed to have a sleepover. But that didn't work out. So, I don't know why, but you guys can ask him. But yeah, he was here when I got this gameplay. And I just haven't been able to commentate over it yet. I was pretty raped with this game. I get a really far across the map um, shot with this, the P90, which is kind of hard to get because you have to like burst your shot and it's complicated. And I've liked the P90 since um, God 4 because it's just a great all around weapon, except if you're looking for far range and that kind of stuff, it's not as good as there. But as you can see right here, I get stunned and I'm really worried. And there's nobody around here anymore for some reason. And then I, like, I can't buy the weed. Balls. I think it's cocaine, actually. I don't know why people say it's weed. I think it's cocaine. Like, text in. I hear, I hear they grow, like, these little balls. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but, yeah. Today, I have a nice little story for you guys. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to wrap up the story, but... We'll be able to get a good chunk in, if not the whole thing. So, so I was eight or nine years old, I think, and what happened was I was going to go trick-or-treating with my friends. It was my first year going alone, and I was going to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And then um, what happened is we were just um, trick-or-treating. We just kept on trick-or-treating, and... When we got a little tired, we were going to take a little shortcut in between, like, these two, like, in between, like, it was, like, on a street, but it was, like, right next to a middle school, and to the right of that, it was, like, these little individual, like, school buildings where, like, advanced, or ki advanced kids or whatever go, but yeah, so we were walking in between there, and then we see a bunch of, like, ghetto, like, black people they were like smoking over there I'm sure they were underage and what's it called so you see a guy drive by and, and like we thought it was like a teacher or something because it wasn't that late yet it was only like seven o'clock but it was getting darker so we were scared as hell like they drove by really fast and parked in their parking spot and literally jumped out and then me and my friends totally took off it was so stupid. We thought they were chasing us, but actually, what happened? They they were just having a good time over there, and we ran all the way, like, went for at least a mile, and then we were, like, going trick-or-treating normally, and it was quite scary. I thought I was going to get raped. Like, no joke. I was scared. I almost dropped my candy, but good thing I didn't. That would have been really disappointing. And I probably would have been crying. And the first thing that came out of my mouth when I saw them uh, hopping out the car was that um, 
I was like, come on, guys, go. Oh, no, I was like, run, run. Oh, that was kind of funny. I had a good time that year, even though it was scary as hell. But as this commentary is wrapping up, we have maybe another, like, minute, maybe 30 seconds. Um, I'd like to say thank you, 91 subscribers that we have. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe because we have really good stuff. And our capture cards are working better now. So if you're into gaming and commentaries and all that good stuff, then we're, we're your people. We're going to be uploading consistently because we're going to try to get a partnership by the end of summer. I know, haters, you can say maybe it's not going to happen, but you never know. Our channel could take off one special video. All you guys need to do is like and get us up on those, like, fucking searches. If somebody searches MW2 Gameplay Commentary, I want them to see my video first. That would be, like, terrific. So here I'm going around this corner. I'm like, ah, shit. Will this be a gameplay? And then, yeah. See that guy? And I'm like, ah, shit. And they get raped. And I was like, no, 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 got him, got him. And there's two more, and I was like, all right, I got to conserve my ammo. And I kill them both. And how did I do that? I do not know. But thanks for watching, guys.